Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorials, we have seen how to get the details of the window or how to get the details of the particular UI element in the particular window by using data extraction actions. Now, we want to know what are the radio buttons that have been selected in the particular window or I want to get the selected checkboxes details in the window by using different actions. What are the actions that we will use it to get the details of the selected radio buttons in the particular window? There we are having get selected radio button in window action. Let me drag and drop this get selected radio button in window action onto the workspace. Over here it is asking for the UI element. What is the UI element that we have? I'm going to say radio button because of we have already captured that. Let me click on select. Now, if you see the operation, I'm having operation like get selected radio button name in group, get state of the radio button. So what is the group over here? If you see in my window, this is the group. If you are not selecting the group, for this radio buttons, you can select both male and the female at the same time for the radio buttons. So, but over here for the gender, we can have one option, right? We can select only one option at the same time so that we will group them. By grouping that, we can select only one option at the same time for the radio buttons. That is the group over here. All right, get selected radio button name in the in group. Or if you want to get the state of the radio button then you can go ahead and you can select the state of the radio button first of all we will see the get state of the radio button so over here once you have selected that operation will give that radio button has been selected or not okay now what i'm going to do that output will be stored in the variable is selected variable let's click on save and as a common practice i'm going to use display message to show the output giving title as UI automation and the output message to display. I'm going to give the output as is selected. All right. What it will give it the is selected. It is selected true or false only it will give it. Let's click on save. Before that, let me show you the window once again. If you see the mail, I have selected the radio button is selected so that it will give the output as true over here. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see the output over here as true because of the selected radio button already selected as part of this windows application so that the state of this radio button is true. All right, let's click on OK. Now to make you understand what I'm going to do, I'm going to change another radio button. I'm going to select add new UI element. And I'm going to select female over here. And then I'm going to click on done. Now, if you see the state of the radio button is false. That is nothing but it has it is not checked over there or it is not selected. Let's click on save. Let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And you can see the output over here as false because of we have selected radio button to get the state of the radio button for the female, right? So now this is in not selected. That's the reason we are going to get it as a Boolean value as false. All right, let's click on OK. Now we'll see another operation of the get selected radio button that is get selected radio button name in group. I want to get the name of the group name of the particular radio button which is available in the group. Now the output of this selected radio button will coming in the value of selected radio button variable. All right. Now what are we are going to do for the display message? We need to save change the value over here as selected radio button. So what it will do. So in the particular group, what is the selected value which we have? It will be displaced over here. Let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started. Now if you see the output over here, what it is now it is the selected value in the group is female that's the reason we got it an output as female over there all right 
I hope you understand how to work with get selected radio button action as part of the data extraction actions. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.